Welcome to beautiful Ålesund, Norway. Today we are exploring the town's rich history through its remarkable statues. Let's begin our journey. Our walk starts from the cruise ship terminal, following the road up to the first stop, Ålesund Church, and a statue of the memory of the fallen. Out of reach for the city lines This ain't where I belong Ain't look at me, man, what I become The Fallen at the Minna, Memory of the Fallen, a moving tribute to those who fell during World War II. The statue, depicting a grieving family, reminds us of the heavy toll the war took on the local community. It is a nice walk up to this historical building and well worth the trip. While here, I also recommend you to check out the church and its lovely decorations. I think it's time for me to go Burn on bridges All I know I got lost along the way Fell between the phone Pulling stitches Time to let go So come what may Don't look before you Outside the town hall, you'll find the statue of Joachim Rönneberg, a local hero and resistance fighter during World War II. Rönneberg led the famous Operation Gunnerside, which sabotaged the German nuclear program, blowing up the factory in Rukon. If you haven't seen the movie, I highly recommend seeing the movie The Heroes of Telemark. This statue stands as a tribute to his bravery and the crucial role he played in the war effort. Walking along the promenade, we have the Shetland Bus Memorial. This poignant monument honors the Norwegian seamen who risked their lives during World War II, transporting people and supplies between Norway and Shetland. The statue of Margit Jonsson, another local hero from World War II. Known for her resistance work, Margit was awarded several medals, including the British Empire Medal. Her statue is a testament to her significant contributions and the impact she had on the war effort. We continue our walk towards Axla Luka Point and the town park. In the park you'll find statues of two historic figures connected to Ålesen. One is of Kaiser Wilhelm II, who helped the town after the devastating fire of 1904. Liberal aid was provided to Ålesund both from within Norway and from abroad. Kaiser Wilhelm II had been a frequent visitor to the area and expressed a personal concern for the plea of the population. As a result, much of the international help was from Germany, sent in Kaiser Wilhelm's name. His first telegram was received while the fire was still being extinguished. He dispatched four ships loaded with personnel, food, medicine, materials for shelters and equipment. The town was rebuilt in the contemporary Jugendstil, Art Niveau. Modern historians have concluded that the fire was actually positive in terms of city development. The pre-fire city centre was extremely crowded, consisting mostly of old and cramped wood housing with only rudimentary sanitary facilities. The other is of the Viking Gangerolf, also known as Rollo the Viking. Gangerolf, as he was named, was the son of Ragnvald Mörial, Earl of the County of Möre, a person most known for cutting the hair of King Harald Hårfagre after he gathered Norway into one kingdom. He was declared as the first Duke of Normandy in 911. After sailing as Vikings to Eastern Europe, Gangerolf and his men entered Viken, today known as Oslo. They ravaged so violently that King Harald Hårfagre brought ban to Gangerolf, and he had to flee from Norway. It is assumed that he and his men around the year 880 AD sailed from Normandy via Iceland, Faroe Island, Orkney Islands, the Hebrides and the Isle of Man. As a central and important Viking chief in the region, it was struck an agreement of peace between the French king called the Simpleton and Gangerolf, and he was declared the first Duke of Normandy in 911 and named Robert, but he was mostly called Roland, which is a French version of Rolf. This took place in saint claude sur epte a few miles south of Rouen. There is also a statue of him in Rouen, France. From the park, we take the 480 steps up to the top of Axla Lukert Point. Overlooking the city, here we'll find the statue of Christopher Randers, a celebrated poet and a theatric critic. Born in 1851, Randers is known for his literary work, 
and his travel guidebook on Sunmere. He was also a great mountaineer, and Randerstopp in Molledal bears his name proudly. This statue honors his contribution to Norwegian literature and his deep connection to the Ålesund region. Ålesund statues are more than just monuments, they are storytellers, preserving the rich history and heroic tales of this beautiful town. Thanks for joining me on this historical tour. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more fascinating stories from around the world. See you next time.